Russia, the whole Russiagate saga, as I've watched it unfold, is deeply divisive and deeply interesting. Um, of course, Russia has always been a traditional enemy, and many other countries are stigmatised in that way. What I find fascinating, though, is that Russiagate has been built up in the teeth of a lot of uh, technical um, opposition and specialist opposition. And it seems to have superseded what was the big scandal beforehand, which everyone's now forgotten about, which was the whistleblower from the NSA, Edward Snowden. And he exposed back in 2013 the mass surveillance state that has been evolving from the USA. And there was a lot of outcry about it, a lot of controversy about it. And yet now, suddenly, that's all forgotten. And the USA and the rest of the West can get on with spying on the whole planet. But no, now we've got to worry about Russia. And there are a lot of geopolitical issues behind this demonization, I think. One, it's very convenient to do that. But two, of course, we're looking at a, a shift in the economic tectonic plates around the planet. So it's been interesting to see the pivot of Russia towards China. Um, and there have been many meetings between their two presidents, many treaties signed, and there is development of new Silk Roads between these two regions, as there is as well between China and Iran. And China is now beginning to trade its, for its energy in yuan rather than the petrodollar. So this is a direct threat to American interests and to the American economy. So it's interesting to see how suddenly, yes, there's Russiagate, but suddenly China is becoming a threat again, and certainly Iran is seen to be a threat. And of course, you know, politically we're seeing America really begin to turn on that region. So watching the sort of tectonic shifts in the economies of the world um, is fascinating. And I think it's always good to look below the surface to see what is really going on and what the the real threats are perceived to be by our governments.